very excited for our last speech and our last thought leadership presentation by Dr. Hussein Al Daoud, Chief Information Security Officer of Arabian Drilling Company. Dr. Hussein works as Chief Information Security Officer at Arabian Drilling Company. His track record demonstrates 12 plus years of information security, information technology achievements with global industry leaders like Saudi Aramco. As a transformative leader, he excels in driving strategy, vision, risk management, as well as governance and other key IT functions impacting millions of dollars of revenue. He also forges lasting stakeholder relationships while making an open, collaborative communication across all functional business units. Using out-of-the-box thinking, he champions innovation and new technologies to ensure superior IT operations and security. Today's topic is cyber insurance, global cyber threats. Please put your hands together and welcome Dr. Hussain. Thanks for being here, and thanks. I uh, would like to thank the organizers for uh, the generous invite, and I would also thank uh, would like to thank uh, all my colleagues who uh, spoke in this great event. Um, being the last speaker, I will try. I'll try to be uh, as short as possible, and I'll try to use a very simple language so everybody understand this uh, uh, trending subject in today's digital world. Uh, I will be speaking today about uh, a risk management mitigation tool. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll try to, I'll speak about uh, a risk management mitigating tool of, uh, to mitigate uh, risk and threats of uh, uh, cyber security. Uh, I will be uh, talking about uh, cyber insurance and global uh, threats. So uh, this is the agenda as you see in the screen. I'll, I'll speak, uh, I'll define uh, cyber insurance and I'll, I'll talk why it is so important for organizations to adapt cyber insurance. And, and I'll also touch bases on some essential coverage areas to consider when the time comes to and you consider adapting uh, cyber insurance. Um, so speaking uh, of artificial intelligence, as much as artificial intelligence helped humanity with so many technologies to make their life easier, on the other, on the other side, it helped uh, cyber attackers to develop some intelligent tools to make their uh, to make their uh, tools work a lot faster when it comes to cyber attacks. Um, uh, this actually, with, considering this fact, that it becomes very hard for us as chief information security officers or cyber security managers to, a threat, uh, to do threat hunting or penetration testing because all organizations today, they use completely different uh, c complex IT systems in all levels, uh, and 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 this actually uh, to to uh, in order for you to do great threat hunting and to identify threats and risks, you need to do manual threat hunting. With this obstacle and challenge of needing a lot of resources and a lot of budget to do it, uh, it 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 became it shifted our organizations of being proactive when it comes to cybersecurity to being reactive. What that means is when I have a, organizations start reacting after they receive a cyber attack. And this is unfortunate for us um, and because it, it, it makes us lose the visibility of our IT assets it makes us lose the visit. Uh, we have lack of visibility in our uh, uh, identifying threats and risks <clears throat> as well. So, what is cyber insurance? Cyber insurance is a product uh, that help uh, that help organizations to recover the losses because of suffering of a cyber attack. Uh, it is an insurance just like any other insurance, like if we have a car accident, for example, and if we don't have insurance, who is gonna, who is gonna help us with the losses of, in case of a car accident? 
of course car, uh, uh, the uh, 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 no uh, the insurance company will help us if we have a policy uh, an effective policy uh, a lot of we also uh, um, throw this example a lot of houses uh, especially in the western uh, culture they have home insurance but then they don't have a flood uh, uh, home insurance so in case of a flood then they get surprised that they don't have uh, they, they are not covered same thing with enterprises today they have so many insurances insurance policies but then they don't consider cyber insurance um, so why should I care why should we care about cyber insurance from perspective from enterprise uh, more than, uh, according to Forbes, more than, uh, more than 3,800 uh, data breaches that were publicly announced in 2019. And according to some statistics, more than 80% of cyber incidents, they are not publicly announced. So that which this tells us that so many cyber uh, uh, incidents happen on, 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 on daily basis. And it is not a matter of if I will be attacked. It is a matter of when in today's digital, uh, in the, in the, in today's digital world. And according to Forbes as, as well, uh, more than 80% of data breaches, uh, they take a place on against the small businesses. So it doesn't really matter if your business is small, medium, or large. We all should consider something like this to help us recover uh, from the losses and damages. So I'll try to be as simple as possible. So there are so many types of uh, cyber insurance uh, policies. So the main, the main three uh, items are the first one, the first level is to cover the losses of our uh, uh, the losses of revenue due to business interruptions. I throw an example of, let's say, uh, uh, Amazon. Like Amazon, they sell products on their websites. What if their websites goes down for two days? There are so many damages that could take place in terms of disrupting the uh, business continuity. So the first level of insurance here, which is called first, part, first party uh, uh, loss, it covers the damages, the losses of revenue that takes place because of the cyber attack, because of this damage. The second level is, is to cover the services and resources needed to recover from an attack. And when you suffer from a cyber attack, you need experts, you need a lot of resources, uh, you need a lot of uh, people that the consultants to come to help you with this. So the cyber issue, this, this part of policy, it helps your organization to, uh, to sub and support the organization to recover to, uh, uh, to, and, and back up all of your system. So it covers the cost that is required to recover the system. So the third, the third level is, it's called third party liability, and it is associated with all legal fees that this cyber incident has caused you. What that means is if you have a lot of employees in your organization and you have their sensitive data, you could be liable to, uh, if their data is exposed to, uh, uh, publicly, you, will, you could be liable for lawsuit cases, for example. So this cyber insurance could help you cover these dam uh, financial damages. So the importance, with this being said and introduced, there are so many uh, uh, factors that show us how important cyber insurance is. So first, to recover or to pay for all the damages that the data loss, uh, the lost data has been uh, compromised. And also, uh, it helps us to recover the damages of the uh, lost uh, devices. And there are so many uh, uh, financial associations with notification requirements in order for you to notify those who you uh, uh, leaked or you caused leakage of the information. It's either clients or employees as well. And it also covers, it helps, the insurance helps us to do the, or to cover uh, the cost associated with forensic uh, investigations. 
So there are so many aspects. Uh, there are many so, uh, areas in order before you uh, decide to uh, go for an insurance policy. So there are so many details and coverage areas to consider. These are some of the uh, elements that I picked uh, in order for you to uh, proceed with the cyber insurance policy. For example, what is the liability? What is the li how liable I am in in terms of uh, cyber uh, of a cyber incident? How much uh, will I be covering? Uh, will I be covered to uh, uh, for defense and settlement? And uh, in terms of uh, uh, breach of uh, contract, how much is the insurance going to cover? So there are so many details when it comes to these kind of things. Uh, with this being said, that it, it is very important to understand that cyber insurance is not go it doesn't mean that you need to stop, uh, uh, you know. Uh, considering implementing cybersecurity uh, uh, programs. It only helps you, and a lot of insurance companies, and all of insurance companies, they wouldn't be insuring you unless you uh, reach to a, a certain level of maturity uh, for your organization in terms of cybersecurity. I mean, if they, they will not insure you if you don't have the basic uh, uh, basics of cybersecurity programs. If, they, if, you don't, if you don't have internet security, if you don't have email security, if you don't have governance or a strategy, they wouldn't even look at, they wouldn't even consider uh, 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 giving you a policy or cover, covering you for under uh, cyber insurance. So with this being said, I would like to open the floor for any questions. Go ahead. Thank you, Dr. Hussein, for this fruitful presentation. Uh, a lot of information and condensed, mashallah. Um, one question. When it comes to the insurance companies, that they want to have a deal with us or, or let's say, uh, conduct a business with the clients, what are the basic steps, from your opinion, that we might agree on and have a, a have a ground of, of let's say, uh, key points to be discussed and to be agreed on between the client and the insurance, especially that in, in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, there is not too much companies which are providing cyber insurance. So could you please guide us? What are the steps to deal with the insurance companies and the clients? Completely. That's a very uh, great question. Thank you very much. Uh, so. Let's mention like there are not a lot of companies uh, present, uh, presently uh, uh, in the market, in the Saudi market, but there are some companies. There are big names of uh, ins uh, major insurance companies, health insurance, and they cover health insurance, car, uh, car insurance. And so if you look up, uh, I looked up this morning actually, and I saw a bunch of them. Two years, two years ago, this was not, uh, this was not happening in, 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 in the Saudi market. So the first thing they would do, I actually communicated with some of them. The first step is that they will send you an assessment tool to assess your organization's level of maturity when it comes to cybersecurity. They will ask you a lot of, uh, they will send you a questionnaire, and then after you answer this questionnaire, they will send a specialist to sit with cybersecurity manager, for example, to assign it to someone from your team, then they will see how much, it's exactly what's, what happens when, 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 you, when you go for a car, uh, car insurance. It's almost the same procedure. It's an insurance at the end uh, of the day. So they will see if you have email security, how many employees you have, how, how much value uh, you are after in terms of IT infrastructure. Because if, the, the insurance, the cost of the insurance is around five to ten percent of the whole valuation of your IT infrastructure. Because they, in terms, in, in, in case of a cyber incident, and if there is a huge damage to uh, that require to change the whole IT infrastructure, uh, they need to take in consideration. They need to understand what type of what's your current state. What are the best practices that you have in a place? And they will also propose to you 
that you need to reach to a certain level of uh, maturity in order for them to consider uh, uh, taking this uh, conversation to the next level. Hope I answer your question. Thank you. Thank you very much for Thank this. you. Thank you so much. They say leave the best for last. We Thank got the best. Thank, Thank you. you so much. That was awesome. We'd like to award you a gift. Thank you very much. Thank you for your Thank you. pioneership and strategy leading the maturity of Saudi Arabia and the kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia. Where's the camera? Over here? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Dode. That was awesome, Dr. Hussain.